With the countdown well underway for Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Rwanda, we are delighted to be working with our partners in Kigali and across the Commonwealth, demonstrating the enduring strength of this global family. Jersey and Rwanda have developed a strong relationship over many years, one that ranges from financial services and investment to education, art and culture. We certainly share many commonalities, not least as part of the Commonwealth Network. The Government of Jersey hopes to develop this relationship further, building on the legacy of Kigali 2022 and to replicate this with other partners across the Commonwealth of Nations in the years ahead. CWIG is a commercial, not-for-profit membership organisation that uses the convening power and trusted network of the Commonwealth, which is led by Her Majesty the Queen, to drive trade and investment and provide platforms for private sector government dialogue throughout the 54 member nations. CBF 2022 will showcase the Commonwealth's strengths and highlight the depths of its relationships, such as CBF's host country Rwanda with one of our long-standing strategic partners, the Government of Jersey. Jersey and Rwanda are two members of the Commonwealth family with many shared interests and a really strong record of working together. As Jersey's International Development Minister and also Chair of Jersey's Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, I've been privileged to see these links deepen and bear fruit. With Jersey Overseas Aid, I've seen our work in dairy, for example, tripling milk yields for tens of thousands of farmers. Every hour in Rwanda, a female Jersey cross is born, and we're now exploring how we can collaborate to help other countries in the same way. Jersey and Rwanda also share a passion for conservation and are working together to help improve both livelihoods and biodiversity in Nyangui National Park. Meanwhile, in finance, we're working to ensure that even the poorest can benefit from access to financial services through our financial inclusion programmes. Jersey is a very small country and Rwanda is a rapidly developing one, which has faced huge challenges. By working together as partners, by playing to our strengths and by trying to improve people's lives, we have achieved and can achieve a lot more. This absolutely embodies the value and strength of the Commonwealth. As Africa continues to see an increase in direct investments, there is a need for countries to offer a platform for investors to structure and domicile their investments close to their markets of interest, easily and efficiently. At Kigali International Financial Center, we're here to connect people with opportunities across Africa and beyond. An investor can easily use our center to set up a foundation, for example, an investment fund or special purpose vehicle investing in fintech or any sector of choice in Rwanda or the region. Jersey Finance has enjoyed a productive relationship with our colleagues in Rwanda Finance, which began with a visit to Jersey by Nick Marawigi and a number of his senior team in early 2020. The idea was to share knowledge and insights to support the development of an international finance centre in Kigali. We continue to build a positive relationship with Rwanda and this summer, three professionals from the Kigali IFC will be in Jersey on a secondment opportunity. Partnerships such as this demonstrate what can be achieved through closer connections between financial centres in the Commonwealth, particularly as our industry becomes more globally connected. I'm very much looking forward to meeting up with our colleagues at the Commonwealth Business Forum in Kigali in June.